She's you ready to go see Poppy and Daddy and Uncle Joy? Yay! <laughs> Turn him in. We think this is our boys. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> oh no. No, it was Striker, right there, right here, this white one. <laughs> There's Daddy! Oh, that wasn't Troy Evan. <laughs> They're like, why would they do that? <laughs> Who? The boys. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think they're excited. <laughs> How'd it go? It was good. It was fun. Good. Yay! Whoa, Journey! You better learn to like fish. <laughs> They're dead already. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> What's that? What is that? Right here, I'm ready for a nap. It's really good though. It's really juicy. <laughs> By the third one? You think we're going to have three girls? Yeah, I think I'm a girl dad. I'm <laughs> saying I wouldn't love a son. Journey. No, I forgot. <laughs> Oh, you love your unicorn. Little diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Did you like that? Did you like that? <laughs> yeah, Journey. <laughs> Do it again. Can you pray? We got to pray. Pray. 
This is how we read. This is, this is how we read. You like it? Uncle Troy. Listen to your heart and find your voice, <laughs> says the little mermaid herself. Yeah, don't fall off the couch. Oh, it's three pages, this whole book. Okay. Reach out for joy. Sing of dreams, she says again. Remember, it is only a dollar. That's what you get for a dollar. Oh, it's four pages. Oh, oh, okay. Twirl and swirl with a lilting tune. Do you know what lilting means? I don't either, but I think it's kind of like lofty. Like, create harmony wherever you go. Especially if you're in an... Under the ocean city. With flounder. With a fish and, Sebastian. and a crab. Or a lobster. Crab? I don't know. I think he's, he's a, a lobster. He's a lobster. <laughs> in a beautiful golden city that I don't know the name of. Poseidon Town. <laughs> Is it good? I didn't really like it. But I hope you did. Yeah. I think she said, I did. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, give Uncle Troy a kiss. Have a kiss? Mm. Hey. <laughs> Psych. Psych. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got to remember where I was. I, I don't have a bookmark. <coughs> You realize if the wind threw out a page in that book, can you imagine Journey getting old? <laughs> <laughs> Journey, you have to sit. Uncle Troy wants to read. You, you read your book, now he wants to read his book. My <laughs> 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 oh, goodness, she scares me to death. Read already. <laughs> this is a story of Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> it was a full morning when, when he awoke. She loves this book. <laughs> One of the dwarves had fallen over him in the shadows where he lay, and had rolled down with a bump from the platform onto the floor. It was Bofer, and he was grumbling about it when Bilbo opened his eyes. Get up, lazy bones, he said. <laughs> Or there'll be no breakfast left for you. Up jumped Bilbo. Breakfast? He cried. Where's breakfast? Mostly inside us, answered the other dwarves who were moving around the hall. <coughs> but what has left us out on the veranda? We have been about looking for Bjorn ever since the sun got up. But there is no sign of him anywhere. Though we found breakfast laid as soon as we went out. Where is Gandalf? asked Bilbo. Moving off to find something to eat as quick as he could. Oh, out and about somewhere, they told him. But he saw no sign of the wizard all that day until the evening. Just before sunset, he walked into the hall where the hobbit and the dwarves were having supper, waited on by Bjorn's wonderful animals. And they had been, and they had been all day. Of Bjorn, they had seen and heard nothing since the night before, and they were getting puzzled. Where is our host? And where have you been all the day yourself?